So today we'll have a look at Oppresso Pro and Oppresso Pro Envelope. Both are commercial modules from Flag. Oppresso Pro is the enhanced version of the original Oppresso, right, which is mono and has a few less features. Oppresso, the original one, is available for free. Again, Oppresso Pro and Pro Envelope are commercial from Flag. Oppresso Pro is all about um, ducking, sidechaining, gating, Right, an Oppresso Pro envelope is a multiband envelope follower. Both have really interesting features. So let's have a look, first of all, at Oppresso Pro. Right, I have here a sort of a drone with a VCO, VCF, and a chorus from Flag. Right, this is going to Oppresso Pro. Again, Oppresso Pro is stereo. And the key input is basically what you want to sidechain it to. In this case, I have a sort of a kick, not a sort of, it's a kick. <laughs> right, and I can mix it in with this knob here. Right, and now I want every time the kick plays, um, the pad, this drone, will go down in volume and will give more space to the kick. Now, Oppressor and Oppressor Pro, both are multiband sidechain compressors, so the input, the key input, will be divided into different bands that you can see here. With the sense control, we can change right, the volume of the different bands. Right, of the input signal, basically, in the key input, we can change the number of bands. We have 10, 1 to 10 bands, right? And then with the range, I can start adding this sidechain compression, basically, by how much it will reduce the level. Right, if I take down the kick, Right, you can hear this effect. We can change also the envelope, right? How quickly it will affect the sound. We have hold and release also. Right, if I bypass Oppressor Pro, basically Control E, this is now without side chaining. Again, it's just a drone, but with the compression. Right, so it gives a bit more space to the kick. Right, so here I have a few examples ready. I have here a kick drum coming from Tremor 2 being sequenced by Zume from Bido. Right, it will sound like this. Now I'm sending a copy of this kick drum into a few effects. I have here Tap Dancer, also from Flag. This is available for free. It's a delay and plateau. Right now, a uh, tap dancer, the delay has this ducking built in. It's a really, really interesting delay module. Right, it has this ducking built in, so it will duck the delay with the incoming signal, but this is going also to a reverb, to plateau. So I want both of them to be sidechained to the kick drum, both of the effects. Whenever the kick drum plays, I want them to go down in volume, right? So it will sound like this. Right, it gives it a bit more if I mute the kick drum. Right, and I can again bypass the side chaining so you can hear it, hear it without side chaining. Right? And now with. It's a bit more breathing. Right, I have here also a bass with Opolus from Vult. Here, in this case, I'm using the original oppressor just to sidechain it with the kick drum. Again, the original oppressor is available for free. Right, but also here I'm sending a copy of this bass drum to more effects. So I have here Thorns, also available for free uh, from uh, Flag. Right, it's a sort of a saturation or distortion going to some delay. And again, I'm side chaining this delay or this um, effects um, parallel processing with the bass, right? So the, the effects will give space to the bass when it's playing. So it will sound like this. Right, this is now just the effects. 
Again, if I bypass uh, Oppressor Pro, right, and now with, again, it has more movement to it, it's more breathing. Another thing I have here, I have a sort of a pad, I have kick wall, this is the voice going through um, a filter, I have again the electric ensemble, the chorus from flag going through some delay and reverb, and in this case I'm side chaining it, I'm ducking it with the kick drum, All right, so let's have a listen just to this. Right, you can hear the rhythm of the kick drum there if I bypass Oppressor Pro. There is no rhythm there. Let's wait for it one more time. Right, but now with, you can hear the rhythm. Right, so everything together. Now Oppressor Pro has another mode, gate mode, right? So instead of taking the levels down with the key signal, it will bring it up, right? So here again, I have the same drone from before, right, with the kick drum. Again, if I set the kick drum to duck this drone, right? Basically, it will duck the level, it will bring down the levels with the kick drum, but here we can change this mode to gate. Right, and now the levels of the different bands of the kick drum will bring in this drone instead of bringing it down. Right, so it's quite an interesting feature. Here I have, again, a few examples. I want to mention, by the way, I forgot to mention it in the last section. I'm using here the teleport modules from Little Utils just to teleport, to um, connect the different modules with cables instead of the cables going everywhere. They are just being teleported and um, with the help of these modules, right? So yeah, I hope it's not too confusing. Anyway, I have here a, a drum groove. Again, Zoom A is sequencing Tremor 2 and Tremor bass kick and bass kick, uh, kick, snare and hi-hat. <laughs> Right, now I also have here a um, blick from Vult going through the chorus from Flag, and I'm sending this to Oppressor Pro, which is set to gate mode, and to, ga and to gate this um, um, sound, I'm mixing the drums, right, with the mixer, sending this to the key input. So basically the drums will bring in this voice, let's solo it. Right. Basically, the rhythm is coming from the drums. Right, again, if I bypass this Oppressor Pro, basically it's a drone, but Oppressor Pro is adding the rhythm from the drums. Right, just for fun, I have here an arpeggio with Opolus and Tap Dancer. Right, but another thing I'm doing here, I'm using a drum sample that I can solo for a second, it's this. Right, basically what I'm doing, I'm using it to gate noise. So I have here noise plethora, again, going to Oppressor Pro set to gate mode, right? And the key signals are coming from this drum groove. So the drum groove will basically bring in this noise, right? And I'm not, I'm not using the audio of this uh, drum groove in any other way. 
Right, again, if I bypass Oppressor Pro, just noise, but with Oppressor Pro, it has this groove to it. So now let's have a look at the pro envelope, the envelope follower. So it will split the input, the key input into different bands. Again, we can select between one up to 10 different bands. And each of those bands has an envelope output, right? Basically, it's a 10 band envelope follower, right? In this case, I'm using, I have here an oscillator that the frequency is being modulated. So sometimes it's low, sometimes it's high. Also, its amplitude is being modulated, and you can see two different outputs here on the scope. Right, so basically we get the amplitude envelope of those different bands. Again, we can change the sense, which is basically the, amp the levels or the amplitude of the incoming signal, right, if you need a bit more uh, boost. And we have also the envelope, so how quickly the envelopes will react. Again, I have a few examples here ready. I have here a uh, drums with tremor 2 being sequenced again by zoom A. Right now I have here noise plethora and I'm sending those drums into the Oppressor Pro envelope and I have two envelopes bringing in two different types of noise from noise plethora. Right, so this will be one going through a delay and filter right from the higher band here and I have another one from the lower band right and you can hear how it will play with the drums right it's following the decay of the bass drum have a listen to this Right, so again, those drums are being split into 10 different bands, and I'm using two um, envelopes from two different bands to bring in this noise. Right, another thing I'm doing here, I have a sample of basically passing cars that I recorded, just cars passing by the street. Right, nothing amazing, but I'm using this to bring in um, to bring in another voice. So I have here um, three FM operators, one, two, and three, with some modulation from the 4FO, also from Bog Audio. Right, and I'm using three bands to bring in those FM operators from those passing cars. Right, so let's listen to this. Right, so basically the levels of those cars are bringing in those FM operators. And what I'm doing here, just for fun, adding a, a, a bit more movement again with Oppressor Pro, side-chaining this voice to one of, the, one of the noises, as you can see here. Right, so together with other sound. Right, now I have here a sequence with kick all from the FACO and glass pane from Path Set. A really interesting and unique sequencer sequencing kick all. Right, going through some delay, it will sound like this. Right, so the frequency is changing, right, the harmonic content is changing by modulating the shape here. Right, the decay is changing, I'm also modulating the decay. So this is going to another envelope follower, right? And I'm using this envelope follower to bring in another voice, to bring in an Opolus. Right, so listen to this. Right? Basically, it will follow the amplitude of kick all.
Also here we have another mode, we have binary mode that will instead of outputting the amplitude envelope, it will output binary signals, basically gates either on or off, that will again follow the different bands of the incoming signals. You can see this here on the scope, and this we can use in all sorts of different ways. Right, I have here another example, and by the way, um, let me, let us know in the comments, um, how do you use envelope followers? There are so many things you can do with envelope followers. It will be really interesting to know how you use them. Right, so here what I have, I have another drum loop, more organic, a drum feel, I guess. Right, and again, I'm not using the audio itself at all, but I'm sending this to um, Oppressor Pro Envelope, set to binary, uh, binary mode, and one of those outputs, of the gate outputs, is gating kick all. Right, I'm also using this um, to trigger sample and hold, which is changing the pitch information. Right, listen to the kick drum of the drums, it will follow more or less the kick drum. Right, so again, we have this organic uh, freestyle drum feel that I'm using to bring in different voices. I have here another voice, Opolus going through some, uh, some delay. Again, I have random pitch information with sample and hold. Also, this is being triggered by the... Both of them are being triggered by this gate output here. Right, if I take down the mix of the delay, Another output, another gate output is bringing in a bass. So again, this drum groove, this organic feel, drum feel, is basically playing this patch. Now I have here another sample of me basically I recorded myself um, hitting a sort of a gate, a metal gate with a, with a branch. Right, so I'm using this to bring in another voice, an FM operator again through some delay. Let's wait for it one more time. Right, so this is also something you can try using all sorts of different different sounds to bring in other sounds. Right, and that was it. That was Oppressor Pro and Oppressor Pro Envelope. Both are commercial from Flag. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Cheers.